Look at this morning view. It's so beautiful, it's fogging the camera up. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. Quick intro. Hold on. <laughs> Quick intro because we're running late. But I enjoyed like an hour on this balcony because if you would know, if you've watched other videos, you know that we love, I love, coffee. Coffee? We. Oui. Coffee? You love coffee? Oh, I love the view. She loves the view. Oh. <laughs> She loves the view. I love the coffee in the morning at a Disney resort. Let's go eat breakfast. We're back at Wilderness Lodge. And I feel like we've been going through trends of like, for a week or two at a time, we'll be going to like the same place. <laughs> I guess it just worked out that way the last couple yeah. of weeks. It really hasn't been planned ever, but like, mm -hmm. but if you really think about it, like when we first moved here, like studios was going through a lot of change. We were there. Great Movie Ride was, yeah. was ending. We started doing Fantastic Friday. Um, so we were there a lot, and then after that closed, we did like the Week of Magic Kingdom. We did the Week of Magic Kingdom because we love it, and it's our favorite, and then uh, we've been doing a lot of Epcot because of food and wine. We're running a tad yeah. bit behind, which is why that pro phone call just happened, I think. Um, but it's also, it's fun also because you see that we do a lot of stuff, you see we're always going to property, but us doing like similar things kind of makes it feel less hectic. Yeah. That, oh, all right. it's easy. that it's not like we're running here, there, everywhere. It's like, oh, this is almost like our little hangout spot for this week. So it's a little relaxing. This is a Whispering Canyon. We're gonna make sure to ask for some ketchup. I think Chelsea's going to. I just love this shirt. It's like a very epcot shirt to me. And it's also light, lightweight, so with the, it's very hot today. Oh. Peter was like, can I wear a sweatshirt? And I'm like, no. I'm just missing some sweatshirts right now. Like, that's, that's like one of my favorite outfits is like sh fall in Chicago with shorts and a hoodie. We'll get there. It'll be like December or January, but we'll get that here. Yeah. But it's we're, Jill's birthday. Today is Jill's birthday. So everybody put down in the comments below, happy birthday, Jill. And if you're watching, the video that Sarah will put up in this corner. I edited one of our vlogs. Hey, I have not edited a video. It was like my like intro. Actually, I've done other intros, but it was like out in the open intro. Yes, so it was her first intro without me. And it was my first edit job for this new channel. Because what was the last video? I think I edited a video for the Fab 5207 like one of our last four or five months ago, maybe. Yeah. Where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there he is. <gasps> We're freaking out. Jill works in a nature world. And that's a bald eagle, she says. That's the first, I think that may be the first bald eagle I've ever seen. For sure, the first one in the wild. Oh my god. So, we're waiting on Jill and James to get some food. No. To get, to get, the, oh, to get the handsome beers. But we are here to see eat, Sister Hazel eat to the beat. And the singer just said in between songs that he is here. He's not just saying he likes Disney. Like He's got a magic banner on and he's going to go on rides in between sets. That is awesome. That's like Neil Patrick Harris coming here and doing kind of like his. Neil Patrick Harris loves Disney. Sister Hazel loves Disney. Here is the traditional Spanish paella. Sarah's been Jones and for since we saw it the other day. Yeah, it's got a lot going on. Yes, yeah, so and it was what, 575? Yes, 575. Let me save it. Well, dig in there. Don't eat the tail on Wait, that shrimp. I want to take a photo first. Okay, take a photo first. What do you think so far? Good. She's about to have the muscle, which nine years ago when me and Sarah started dating, I never would have thought in a million years that she'd be eating shrimp and mussels. First place I ever had mussels was Rosa Crown. Oh, those are good? What does it taste like? Spicy? Hot? It just cold? Like, there's a good variety of meats. It says chorizo chicken, shrimp, and the mussels. I 
feel like I had good seasoning on the meat. Not like the rice necessarily, but the meats. What'd you get? The Latin burger. Pickle. From? How much was it? Four dollars. A very hot, very hot. It's gonna linger on my breath. Jill's digging the music. Happy birthday, Jill! Happy boy, birthday, boy, boy. Happy, happy, happy birthday, happy birthday, Jill! Come from Chile. I was singing once and left and right and left and right. <laughs> Anybody who plays this sounds like a professional. birthday gift to yourself. I got a troll because what 31 year old does not want a troll in their leg? Show, do the magic, do the magic. He just whip off his cape and magically he's back. He's a, a rat. Marinated chicken with peanut sauce and stir fried vegetables. Wow. I didn't cheat at the menu. What and what'd you get? Uh, the red hot spicy beef. Is it red hot and spicy? No, it's so spicy. No? I was expecting that, uh, like a big cake to right? Good portions. Do you remember how much yours was? Four seventy-five. Five something or other? Five fifty. Oh. Right there, like he's eating. Pork sliders. How much was it? Um, 475 and 4. For everybody, this is what Epcot, Epcot on a, what's it, Saturday night during Food and Wine looks like. Real busy. There's people just sitting down just to sit. They're not even, there's no parade over here. So I'm getting excited because Epcot's open until 10 o'clock and it's never open. It's open until, yeah. Illumination is at 10. You didn't know that? I already checked it. Illumination is at 10. I verified it on the app. And my Disney experience never lies. It doesn't. But what we've learned just now is everyone did what we did. We weren't that original and walked all the way around to see what we wanted the most. And then got back <laughs> and then got in line because now we're waiting for Morocco because it's clearly one of the best. And we have two registers and a big old line. But I promise you, James, it's worth it. So it's 7.57, we're three minutes away from, who we see him? Sister Hazel. Sister Hazel starts in three minutes. We decided to go with this nice bench all the way to the back of the pavilion because it's spacious. We don't have to deal with the crowds. Jill, I can dance if I want to. She can dance if she wants to. She can also cry if she wants to because it's her birthday. It's her birthday. And she can cry and if she wants birthday. to. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. that we never get to do really. Jill's request, she's doing it for the AC, but I'm not gonna say anything because I love it and so does Sarah. We're doing the American adventure right now. And they changed the entrance for the time being. For some reason that's closed and the entrance is right here. Strange, still cool. Let us know down below if you know why that is closed temporarily. But we're about to go in and then I think we may be staying all the way until Illumination Slam. Either way, we're gonna get ourselves some Mark Twain right now. Ready for some Mark Twain? Some oh, yeah. Samuel Clemens for you. Some Alexander Hamilton. And I might I be intoxicated. Know. I don't think is Alexander Hamilton There's in this? There's a statue of Alexander Hamilton. In it? Alexander no. Hamilton. No. Where's your family from? In the... Unimportant. Oh, There's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait. Just you wait. By the way, so, so, so. I think that Hurricane Irma came through where we live in the middle of the night just so I couldn't go out in the eye of the hurricane and say, in the eye of a hurricane there is quiet, just a moment. And, oh wait, I know 
wait, we call right now that Lin Manuel Miranda is gonna do the candlelight processional in the, in next, the next three years. Three years. We just found out why it's closed, so do not leave a comment down below. It's closed because there's a wedding in there. This is like a very intense new pearl section. They got an overhead camera right there, feeding right there. It's not, it's not, yeah? That's awesome. Nothing like a, he used to drink that when he was a kid. Oh my God. Like when I was a kid, I used to drink that. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's <laughs> wild. Cheers for some Beverly. Oh, I didn't take Beverly. Is what you mean? Yes. Birthday Try it. Beverly. Birthday Beverly for the birthday girl. This is like an Italian delicacy. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Come on, birthday girl. I, have a bit of did, I think we topped out. We'll have to look back at the video. We've done like five. We did like eight at the last time. Did we do eight? We have it on camera. Yeah. We'll have to see. Cheers. Three. I like to sip it sometimes, get all the flavor. Jill's first time and James first time on the new Soren. We expect a full review. We're pooped. We are pooped. Thumbs up or thumbs down for new Soren. Very good. I love the elephant and the orca. What's James saying? Do you like, you like new Soren? Yeah, absolutely very impressive. Good. So yes, as Jill says, hold on, look how dark. Okay, there we go. As Jill says, we're pooped. We're gonna get out before the crowds take over. We're not gonna see illumination today, but it's fine because if we're pass holders and we can do whatever Jill we want. <laughs> has been a pass holder since we came in February, right? Yes. She, us coming in February sparked her to rebuy her pass, and I think now us moving here may, may have may have sparked James <laughs> to get a pass. So, with that, I think we're gonna close it right now. Great. Jill knows what to say. Yeah. Does James know what to say? Yeah. On the town of three say it's good to be home. So we've had a long day. I feel like it was like 16 million days well, since breakfast. Like <laughs> and let alone breakfast for us. Well, and with that, one, two, three. It's, it's good, good to be, be home. home. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.